The references extractor for Sharp Task has been greatly enhanced to give users a lot more flexibility and control when trying to find and search for referenced files with SolidWorks. Let's take a look at an example assembly and how the references extractor plugin can help us. Here we have an assembly and in Windows Explorer we have you can see a drawing of a part in the same name and in the same folder and we also have a, a, a drawing one of them with the same name of a part and one other one with a different name in a, in a subfolder. In SolidWorks you have a very handy functionality called open drawing that can be accessed so let's take a look so we have this part here called head and we have open drawing and we can see it goes ahead and opens the drawing. Now it only does this or this functionality only really works under some controlled circumstances. One which is if the drawing is of the same name and in the same folder. It can also work for the same session when you create the drawing if the drawing is of the same name but in a different folder. So for example this battery cover if I right click and go open drawing you can see it asks me to find the drawing the first time so we can go ahead and open it up. There it is. It's in a subfolder. Um, but the next time for this session, it won't ask me. It'll just open it up straight away because it's sort of loaded that reference into memory. However, you can see with this holder, we can see, okay, it doesn't find it because it's in a different folder and it's a, it's a different name. So how can the references extractor plugin uh, help us in this case? Well, let's take a look here. I'm just going to close down this assembly and we'll close down the, the drawing as well and just go to the References Extractor plugin. So we've got a, a couple of new options now um, when we are searching for references. So the first one here is just to um, search by, by name. So you can see it says it'll be searched by name and the name should be the same as the parent part or assembly. So how is this going to work? Well, if we just go ahead and drag in the overall assembly, loads it and what we can see is that it finds the um, finds the drawing for the battery cover and finds the drawing for the head because they are the, the same. If we now take a look at a different option which is to look for a reference. A drawing will be searched by reference where the drawing may be a different name than the parent part or assembly and you can see it will take a bit more time because you're searching through different folders where the parts or where the drawings for those parts may be located. So let's turn on that option and see how that's going to help us as well and, and what the difference is. So if we then go ahead and just drag the, uh, the assembly into the references extractor just expand it. So now we can see that it's found the head which we expen uh, expected to. It's found the battery cover but it's also found this holder or the drawing of the holder which is in a completely different folder. It's in a completely uh, under a completely different name but the references extractor still finds it. So you can see how this can help here. Let's take a look at one more option. I've got a drawing for the assembly as well, but it's not in this folder, it's not in a subfolder, it's somewhere else completely on my, my hard drive. In fact, it's under sort of in a subfolder under my, my D drive. So how can we help with that? Well, I'm just going to just remove the, uh, the, the assembly there from the list. So we use the by reference option or the by name option, either one will, will work. Um, and what we can do is use this additional location search functionality. So we can say search for references in additional locations. This will be turned off by default. We can turn it on and just specify additional locations to, uh, to search. So we just go add folder uh, and I'm just going to search uh, a folder where I know the uh, the drawing are uh, and now I'll just drag the assembly in okay so you can see it's loaded there uh, and what we can see is of course it's found the um, parts that have drawings but now also found the additional drawing for the assembly as well and very handily of course previews are given to let you know what the part or drawing or assembly exactly looks like. So this is great in, in finding references. Let's take a look at um, how we can sort of further use this for, um, um, for, for actually creating designs or, or, or going further uh, with, with sharp task as well. So over here to the top left now we have some filters. So we have filters for selecting parts or assemblies or drawings and we can select say for example parts with drawings or without drawings. So I'll just deselect everything. Okay and what we'll do is just turn on all of these and I just want to find out um, just select parts 
you can see it's just found parts with drawings. So what has it done is just selected parts with drawings. Now, what if I want to create drawings for all of um, the, the parts that don't have drawings? So how would I do that? So just go find me all parts without drawings. So deselect all. Select, so you can see it's now just selected all of the parts without drawings. What we can do is then go into our sharp task module and I can just simply use the control here just to drag and drop into sharp task and it's only going to add those files which has um, which don't have drawings in this case so let's go ahead and generate drawings so I'll just go into the sharp task online library we'll just search for a drawings task and we'll just use the generate drawings just add that to our scope and we'll just save them in the same folder as the parts for, for this stage. Um, we can use the default template, just say everything should be A3, and I'll just specify third angle. That's all fine. Let's run that in, uh, in SolidWorks. Make sure that only parts are, are specified there. Just go ahead and run that. Okay, so that will process the files quite quickly, and just um, generate drawings for all of those files and we can sort of see that happening in the in the background you can see the drawings being created there so this can be great in um, finding out in a particular assembly or a project whatever it might be which of my files have drawings which of them don't have drawings okay so these ones don't have drawings let's go and create them all right so all of those files now have drawings let's just go back to the references extractor for a moment I'm just going to remove it and we'll add it back in again alright and what we see now is everything has a, um, a little expand mark next to it because all of the drawings that we created have uh, now drawings associated uh, uh, with those parts um, we can also change the view a little bit here so we can show or hide the file parts as they're shown here um, we recommend that the file parts are shown so you get an idea of exactly where um, your parts and drawings uh, are stored um, and of course we can take it a step further here as well so for example I'll just deselect everything and let's say we only want to select our, our drawings so it only selects the drawings again we can just go back into sharp task just select everything in the item scope and delete it go back to our references editor and use the uh, the plugin to drop our items into sharp task so I've just got all of the drawings there and let's say we now just want to generate PDFs of all of those drawings so we'll just go back into our online library click on save PDF add it to the task scope and we'll just uh, create a, a folder where those files are alright so that's where they'll go and we'll just say uh, zoom the model and uh, only only the sort of the, the current sheet and then again all we have to do is just simply click on run so you can see while those files are, are going to be processed and, and creating the PDFs how the references extractor can not only help you find files uh, and reference files when they cannot be found by, by SolidWorks uh, but also in terms of moving on through your design process and workflow by being able to selectively select uh, the, the files or parts with drawings, without drawings, assemblies with drawings or without drawings or just parts, assemblies and drawings themselves for a particular um, project or assembly or design and then drag it into sharp task to carry out further processing such as creating drawings or, uh, or, or saving PDFs. So that's how the references extractor with its new improvements can really help you find files and 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 streamline the design process so we can see all of the the PDFs have been created here as well so that's the the new uh, functionalities now available in the references extractor uh, plugin for sharp task thank you